What is up guys? It is once again Major Underscore if you're rocking it with Team Low Key and it's the video you guys have been waiting for. Yes, that's right. If you've been paying attention to my channel, this is the video on how to bypass the iCloud iOS 9.3.2 firmware. I know you guys have been waiting for a minute because I've been getting a lot of emails about it. I've been getting a lot of um, feedback about it and everything and I'm actually pretty impressed that the video has reached 23 likes if you haven't seen it please go check it out leave some likes leave some feedback you know subscribe all that type of stuff it actually really helps out I appreciate all the people that have sent me emails asking for ways in which how to do so but I wasn't releasing it ahead of time because I thought it would only be fair if once the video reached the designated amount of likes that's when I should um release it so if you guys don't mind please go ahead and leave a like on this video because i'm pretty sure everything i say will be of utmost use to you guys all right so basically here's how we're going to go about doing this i would show you how to do it but i have my devices currently out being fixed right now and i won't have them back till tomorrow sadly but i will still give you guys the step-by-step -step tutorial and just in case you want to do it along to the video all right so step one you have that iCloud locked in. Go ahead, connect it to your Wi-Fi. Don't put any in any DNS settings or none of that type of shit because none of that works anymore. That's just to do stupid crap. This is how to actually get into your device. Go to your Wi-Fi settings, connect to your Wi-Fi, and once it shows that screen where it says sign into the thing, that's the screen that you want to be on. All right, now once you get to that screen, I'll wait a little bit just in case you have to wait a little bit on your Wi-Fi. In the meantime, while I'm waiting, you could leave a like on this video and subscribe. All right, moving on. So next, what you wanna do is type on where it says type in username. And once you get to this type in username menu, that's where things get interesting. Normally people don't know how to do this because no one's ever tried this, but I've tried it and it works. So this is what you have to do. You have to click on that, click on the emoticon I, um, button on the bottom, go over to, I think you can use any emojis you want, but I use the purple emojis that have like, you know, the zodiac signs and all that crap those are the ones i use i don't know if it's exclusively those that work but if you want to follow the same steps i did use those purple square icons with the little things inside of them tap a bunch of them like i'm talking about more than about like 40 50 carriers characters and once you do that you copy that amount of characters and paste it so that way you have twice as many and once you do that copy and paste that twice as many until because once you do that <laughs> you'll start to notice that it's starting to lag it's starting to take a while for the stuff to load up and as you're doing that this is what's happening you're causing the um system on your phone to force a reboot once you do it long enough and once you've done that so many times eventually and this is what's going to be scary but it works your um iphone will freeze up and that's a good thing that means um it's about to reboot and once it reboots that means that it's about to reboot and you will see a glimpse of your home screen you have to repeat this process multiple times until it finally lets you in i know it took me about 10 or 20 times but hey persistency is key and that's how you're going to get your iphone working and once again go to sign into your wi-fi go to the account thingy go to the username menu type in a bunch of emoticons copy and paste them until it because it's going to get really laggy and it's going to freeze for a couple minutes don't turn off the device while it's doing that or anything because then you have to redo it and you're going to get frustrated so pretty much what you're doing is <coughs> sorry um yeah it's overloading the system which causes a forced reboot and once it reboots long enough eventually it wipes the memory of that x um icloud users information so load it up load it up eventually it'll freeze but you have to pay attention don't let the screen lock keep tapping it so that way it doesn't go into sleep mode because then you'll have to restart it and that's going to be frustrating i did the same thing myself and if you looked at my video before the last one i posted you saw how i got the glimpse of the uh of the um home screen that's what you will get and it will stay there and you will be able to use your device completely if you go about continuing to overload the system it'll take you about 10 20 times or maybe even more and if that doesn't work for you guess what your boy also did i found a second method that's right that's why i haven't tried to release it to any of you guys that sent me emails and that's why you should watch this video because the um second method i found well actually i bought some software that will allow you to um, pretty much 
in a sense, wipe it without as much effort, you can email me and I'll send you the software via iCloud and we will discuss um, exactly how to do a step-by-step -step tutorial because I'm all about helping you guys out because all I want to do is become a well-known YouTuber, whether it be for my gamings, where it be, whether it be for my tutorials, whether it be for my video blogs. Uh, so there's two methods. I'm not going to state the name of the software, and I hope when I send it to you guys who email me, you do not disclose this information because what I'm trying to do is bring in, you know, likes and stuff to my YouTube channel, which is very much appreciated. And if this stuff worked out for you, if you're starting to get the um, glimpse of your home screen, please leave a comment letting people know that you are doing the process correctly and that it's taking you a minute, but it will work. If it does not work, method two is easily reachable by hitting me up via email and I will send it to you via um, Google Drive or I could send it over iCloud, I could send it in a zip file. Pretty much, I'm here to service you guys because you guys are the people that I'm doing this for. I don't have a need to. I, um, I don't know. So, yeah, and then, guys, if you, um, I'm going to set a bar on this um, YouTube thingy, so I hope you guys watch to the end because now, here comes things for the people that actually paid attention to the end. I'm going to do a giveaway. I have a Chromebook, an extra Chromebook laptop sitting 15 inch by the way 16 gigabyte with a hundred um, gigabyte Google Drive for two years and Google Play for a year and some other services that also come with it once you set it up for that amount of time I'm giving that away <coughs> well gonna be um, announcing how you could win that in a video that'll be coming up next once this video reaches the last video reached 23 should we set the bar higher yeah, let's say once this video reaches probably 20, 30 likes, <coughs> anywhere in that ballpark, I will teach you, I will um do a giveaway for a brand new inbox. I will ship it, pay the um shipping fee and all that type of stuff, send it to your P.O. box, whatever, if you guys get me 20 to 30 likes on this video, and then I will state how you could win that. Also, subscribe for any other content I will be releasing. I will be constantly trying to see if it's been patched, the um, iCloud bypass. I will constantly be checking the software to make sure it's still working, and if it is not, I will find another way to get you guys your devices working because I've gotten a lot of emails about people saying they've been scammed on Craigslist, they've been scammed on eBay, and they've been um, trying to figure out how to do this for the longest. Trust me, I've been in your shoes. I have bought five iPhone 6s that have had the same issue, been able to fix every last one of them because I'm naturally sex savvy like that. I can get, I can actually do it via messing around with the parts or I could do it just messing with software. It's just what I do. So just more to come from this small YouTuber. I hope I can get some subscribers off this video. Like it, at, like I said at the beginning. Leave some feedback. Let me know if you're going to actually use what I said. And if you guys want the giveaway, 20, 30 likes is all I'm asking for. That's not too much to ask, right? I mean, I only have about 40-something subscribers. That's pretty great. I appreciate the fans. And go ahead and leave me some emails if you guys want that software instead of going through the hard process. And as usual... Peace out, guys.